for the day pure and impure public goods तो बेटा हमने ये तो पहले ही पढ़ लिया कि वे ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस दैट वॉट आर प्योर गुड्स वॉट आर प्योर पब्लिक गुड्स है ना वी स्टडीड टू प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दो गुड्स वन वॉज नॉन राइवलरसनेस एंड वन वॉज नॉन एक्सक्लूडेबिलिटी वी स्टडीड बोथ दीज प्रॉपर्टीज राइट बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द रियल वर्ल्ड देयर मे नॉट एग्जिस्ट एनी पब्लिक गुड विच इज completely following these two properties like take take an example abhi likhenge pehle samajh lo thoda sa so let us take an example of a flyover this flyover it is non excludable matlab main kisi ko exclude nahi kar sakti hai use karne se i can't exclude anyone from using this at the same time this flyover this is also non rivalrous so when you use this flyover when your car car comes on it it does not reduce the flyover that is available for me right but just think about this if there are lot of cars bahut sari cars hain is flyover pe if there are lot of cars then what will happen in that case i am going to be affected by one more car if there are already 100 cars in the on the flyover then i will be affected by 101st car on the flyover right so what do we want to say we want to go ahead and say that after a point of time we are affected by the other car and therefore after a point of time this is no more non rivalrous this becomes rivalrous usage by one person reduces the amount that is available for the other person clear ho so that means that we need to work with the real world and real world does not have obvious public goods after a point of time something that is rivalrous may become uh, i mean non rivalrous may become rivalrous aise hi suppose i am talking about a park but anybody can enter this park and walk till the point anybody can enter and walk it is non excludable non rivalrous but now just think about this if i put an entry fees on this park then this is no more non excludable i can exclude people from joining it kyunki ab sirf wo log jo iski entry fees denge only they will be able to use this so when we talk about pure versus impure goods what do we want to say beta we want to go ahead and say that we are not always having goods which are pure public goods and in fact a lot of times we deal with something which is known as impure public good it is not completely pure so let's write that down right so please write down that one of the criticisms of public good was that such goods are not obvious in the real world so you would not go ahead and you would not see such goods in the real world in the real world they may or they may not exist theek hai beta so this was this theory it was given by marcolis and it was given in 1955 so in 1955 marcolis suggested ki kuch impure public goods bhi ho sakte hain kuch aise goods bhi ho sakte hain jo non rivalrous na rahe so then he asked what should be done in this case what should we go ahead and do how should we go ahead and how should we define them right in fact there was this economist his name was sandler and he suggested ki jo defense bhi hai even defense is not pure public good why because suppose i have a limited defense huh? if i deploy this defense in my north region maybe i will have less for my south region if i deploy this defense in the east region 
maybe maybe i will have less defense in the west region so what he said is even defense is not a pure public good jab ek region ko zyada milta hai to usse automatically dusre region ke liye defense kam ho jata hai right so let's write this down that even defense in so far as protection is concerned is not a pure public good but you should know who has given what so it should not seem to the examiner that You think that defense is not a public good. ऐसा नहीं लगना चाहिए कि आपकी statement है It should be well aware to the examiner that this statement it was given by Sandler in नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन एंड वाई डेड ही गिव दिस ही सेट इफ आर्मीज आर डिप्लॉयड इन द नॉर्थ देर विल बी लेस protection in the south okay that's the second thing then indeed samuelson went ahead and he gave multiple examples of this thing ha huh? so samuelson he went ahead and he talked about lighthouses he went ahead and he talked about uh, other things ha huh? so he said that there are in fact goods which are not completely pure in nature so please write down that samuelson further questioned the possibility of pure public goods right so he said ki ye extreme sahi nahi hai that you just have pure public and pure in, uh, you know pure private good so he came up with the possibility of the impure public good so he came up with possibility of impure public good between two extremes of pure public and private good so he said that between pure public and pure private good you should have <coughs> impure public good but when we go ahead and draw this in a matrix that is called as taxonomy of the good so taxonomy kya hoti hai a taxonomy of good is when you go ahead and you show pure public and pure private good along with impure goods in a matrix so let's draw that 